<laughs> Good morning, guys. Have we ever mentioned how much we love our backyard? Uh, it comes like when we okay, hold on, hold, hold on, the horses. hold the horses. I looked through all the photos and uh, probably a month ago I was looking through old pictures of when we first moved to this house and I was like, oh, this yard, this was not the yard we moved into. Not at all. I mean, Go boys. the first, okay, so I, I just want to like walk through what we did because partially for my memory I think when we bought the house and we moved in it was like the backyard is our compromise it's not what for we would me, what was a compromise was uh, the steep driveway oh yeah we do have a steep driveway <laughs> uh, but the backyard we had a drainage issue that was one thing and there was no, no grass that was another <laughs> thing there, there was no fence there was trash Oh, Do you remember there was just I like forgot. back here? It was just like trash had been thrown back here. The best one slash the worst <laughs> and the most creepy and the grossest one was like right there in this middle part. Peter goes to pick something up and it like keeps coming. It was a pantyhose. lot of pantyhose. It was a lot of pantyhose. It was many it was... pantyhose. <laughs> <laughs> like what? It was so weird. Okay. It was like somebody cleaned out their dresser drawer like 15 years ago and they were like pantyhose who wears pantyhose and then puts them in a martin's bag like a walmart bag and brings it back here and buries it <laughs> and then 2021 we find it <laughs> so i'm in the midst of like digging up all of the it was basically wood chips back here the previous owner had done some tree work just the tree company i think had shredded the trees and basically mulched the backyard over garbage and i i really <laughs> don't quite know what was going on there but there was a lot going on the first thing we did though was we had the fence put in okay i want to film you like showing okay okay so actually this back fence was already here but it looked crazy yeah it was all um Moldy. moldy it was basically black um so once we put the fence in eventually i pressure washed this back fence and i stained it all the same color and that was a big debate for us what color to yes. do the fence and we ended up deciding on the stain that we got on clearance at home depot which was a really good stain i don't even remember uh, it's like woodland elite or something but then with the fence what would you say makes the backyard well the grass the grass but with the fence we put ball lights all oh, the way yeah. around the fence i mean it was an essential when we moved in we knew we were going to get this fence and so we knew we wanted to budget for as many strings of lights as we needed to do our entire yard. I and think it took it, five strands. They are so worth it. And whenever our friends are over in the evening, they always say, ah, oh, the lights, that makes such a huge difference. Well, part of what it is, is the whole backyard, I feel like is usable at night. Yeah. Otherwise it's dark and- Creepy. It's it's a it's a whole vibe it is it's beautiful and then and then we decided we want to put lights above the deck yes and we started with do you remember we put two by twos up yeah and the two by twos started bending in it was not a look so we put up these four by fours all the way around the deck and then mary had the genius idea of doing the two by fours on top wasn't that your idea? Well, you brought two by fours and you were thinking of doing them this way. Oh yeah, I was gonna do them up and down and like try to, and you were like, why don't you just lay them on top? And I think it gives a modern clean line look to the top of it. So we almost have a, it feels kind of like a pergola without a roof. It's a pergola without a pergola. Yeah. So we put, hung those lights and it was a geometry equation to figure out how to hang the lights 
Oh yeah. <laughs> and like end at the right point. Like what because point do you start at? <laughs> and then go and do crisscross and then end at the right point. And I figured it out if I start at that corner <laughs> and then I go, dude, 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 dude. I, th I think that's how it went. Um, Either way, you figured it out. And. Okay, hold up. My feet are absolutely burning on this uh, woods. I need to get flip flops. <laughs> okay, all better. Got my flippy floppies. <laughs> While we're here, I want to show you guys our new furniture that we got uh, from Costway. Costway is the sponsor of today's video. They're an online retailer for pretty much anything for your home, but we love their outdoor furniture because you guys have recognized this black set that we have had for years. We had it for how many winters in Massachusetts? Many. Many winters in Massachusetts. Then we moved it back, or not back, down here to North Carolina. We've been here for three years. And this is a Costway, uh, what do you call it, conversation set. And uh, when, so when Costway reached out to us to sponsor uh, this vlog, we were like, yes, we want to get another set of patio furniture because we've loved the one that we already had. So we went with a teak conversation set. This set was... And I'll just point out, this is the fireplace we already had. We just put it on the table. So yeah. it does not come with the fireplace, but it comes with the table, the two chairs, the bench, and all the cushions, which are... Nice, thick cushions. Yeah, exactly. And we really love the look. Mary especially pointed out with that green, uh, that new greenery that we have growing up the plant wall. It looks really nice. The whole set was is 400 and I think it's on sale for $440. They're offering you guys 10% off of anything on their site. We recommend checking out their patio furniture and you can use our link to get 10% off. And with this beautiful greenery in the background, I will also note that they have 24 hour customer service help and fast three to five day shipping. Ding! Another thing that we like about our new set is that it complements our plant wall. And so after Peter, really Peter, he says we, but really Peter put up the structure, we started talking about this idea. He was like, Mary, I have an idea. I had seen vertical gardening on Instagram and there's systems out there that you can buy that are very expensive. And I was like, with this frame that we already built, I think we can make a plant wall and basically this whole plant wall each of these boards they were like 14 foot boards and at the time they cost two dollars and something they were not pressure treated they were just plain old what pine boards yes and so we at first we were like i hope they hold up okay but he stained them the same as the fence and it's held up yeah, wonderfully he was using a good uh stain sealant on them but basically, what did you say? We have like 16 boards, so it's like $32 or maybe like $40. Um, and all I did was I cut the boards, I stained them, and I used a nail gun and just nailed in the back to the four by fours. And what I did was I used a piece of wood to space out. I just laid yep. it on top, spaced it out. Mary helped me hold them and we nailed them in. And then we just got some planters and hooks and hung uh, them on the wall um, we found that little happy place sign and uh, it has faded in the sun but our love for it has not faded well let's be real Peter said I think we should take the happy place off because it doesn't look like it used to look and I was like no I, mean, I love it white and white. I mean, no on. I love it it's our happy place so and then I think one of my highlights is this umbrella right here because it's so needed. It's so beautifully bright out here. And so I will usually come out and uncrank the umbrella. And every time I uncrank the umbrella, I am scared that there will be bees inside and there are never bees. And I'm, I'm just so thankful for that fact that there are not bees inside. Um, and it's been helpful with having Elijah hang out with us on the back deck. We can just open the umbrella, give him some shade. And then with our new co Cosway set, we needed to rearrange the deck and I'm loving 
the new arrangement especially because we do have a lot of like friends from church come over and so it's good to have more seating and like a more open I sat out layout. here last night with my propane fire pit uh, going and it was amazing. I actually, I drilled a hole in that. That table doesn't come with a hole in it, so I had to drill a hole in that table. And I ran, this has been, um, these are some of my tips, like DIY tips, is I hung a propane tank from the side of the deck and I run the propane line just underneath and up through the table. Another tip that I have is when we put the ball lights in, I wanted an easy way to turn them on. And so I got a Wi-Fi plug and basically I programmed it to the switch inside the house so that when we turn this light on, it's a, it's a Wi-Fi switch. And when I turn this light on, um, it triggers for the ball lights to come on in the yard, but the grass. The grass is definitely... It's the key feature. It's been a labor of love. I planted grass three times. Currently, the yard is looking good. <laughs> we're, we're learning to grow grass in North Carolina. And then, yeah, so this is the old table we had. The funny story that it used to be glass. We dropped a drill on it. When I was building this frame. Yes. And so I used the leftover cuttings from those boards and I made a wood, I just shoved the wood in this tabletop. It's a little uneven, but it works and it matches. Oh yeah, the bushes. Oh yeah, the bushes. Now, they do not look as lively as they usually do. They go through phases throughout the spring and summer that they are more full or less full of leaves. like. Uh, a few weeks ago, this like bushy, bright yellowish greenish was the whole bush. And right now they're a little bit more sparse. But these are one of our favorite features of the yard. Well, first of all, we put this lattice back here. We just cut the pieces to fit the holes. Peter stained it the same color as the fence and the plant wall and everything. And then that made a huge difference because our deck is... What is that, about a four foot gap yeah. right there? And it's just dirt underneath of there. And so shattered glass from that table that broke. I just recently, we had put in this uh, wood border with mulch and I just recently extended it to here because every morning Ollie comes out here and he pees right there. And so he, it was killing the grass. <laughs> so we always had this dead spot of grass. So I was like, I'm just gonna extend the mulch bed um, and I like that that angle is similar to how we did that angle on this border. I think the natural <laughs> area. <laughs> the, how did this fall? <laughs> the, the bird bath. You think the natural area what? Well, it was kind of a necessity that we couldn't grow grass here because the trees are so dense. We had a landscaping company come out and they were like, I don't recommend even trying to grow grass back here. And so... We started calling it the natural area because we, when we cleaned up the yard, we just took all the wood chips and moved them over here. But one of the unexpected blessings for me is it gives me a place to like blow the leaves or like throw the pine cones and... Yeah, and it all is just brown and crunchy so it doesn't really matter. Oh, you stepped on my potatoes! <laughs> my bad these are potato plants that came back from last year okay what else um the bushes they were free from like facebook oh, yes. marketplace or something and they are just one of our favorite things um don't mind the dinosaur situation it's a long story yeah. and another bush oh and another I mean, this isn't our backyard but our side yard it counts as part of this video. Um, it's beautiful. It's our cactus garden. So anywhere where you see a bright green little cactus on top, these are all new growth. New growth. These are cactus uh, prickly pear fruits. And then that's a new paddle. And you can see all the new paddles going all the way down the garden. 
I'd like to say a big thank you to Peter for transporting hundreds of cacti. Oh, and this brick border. These were free bricks on oh, yeah. Facebook Marketplace. Yep. Um, so all that to say, I think I think the the point and the big idea of this video is you can do a lot to spruce up a space without spending a lot of money. Yeah. And I think like things like that new patio set and rearranging the furniture gives me excitement to be outside for the summer. And so. And you can take a crusty old backyard like it looked when we first got here and put in some hard work. And there's a lizard. Oh man. Okay, couldn't find the lizard. You can put in some hard work and come out with something that you can really enjoy. Thanks for joining us, guys. And as, as always, always, we'll see, see you, you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Ollie, do you love our backyard? Do you love to go run, run, run? <gasps> Ready, set, go, buddy. Oh, and did we show him we put a swing for Elijah? Oh, a swing.